So Alex, we know that networking is a key in job search. Even before looking for a job, we should always keep network, be specific. It's a two-way communication. It can start on LinkedIn. And sometimes uh, it's, we also having a lot of events happening in St. John's that people can go. But still people feel difficult or for them, it's not something they are comfortable doing it. So in your experience, what are some of the tips that people can do when they're going to a networking event? Yeah, so maybe what I'll say, find your people is mm -hmm. maybe the point that I'll make. And I was going to save this for another answer, but maybe it's reflective to it everywhere. Maybe find your people initially that will help grow your network. And what I mean by that is find extracurriculars, the networking events, the conferences that share like-mindedness mm -hmm. with you. Uh and that way you find your people and maybe it's a lot easier there for you. So if you're an engineer, maybe there's a, like a, a Memorial University, there's the concrete canoe, there's a the concrete toboggan, uh, there's uh, the Hyperloop, there's activities like that yeah. that share like-mindedness of people wanting to experience new things, build something together as a team. Yes. So that is networking and people yes. don't often always think that way that it is. Mm -hmm. So those extracurriculars, the attending conferences that are very similar in skill set, you can often find and you can find your people starting just even at that point. And oftentimes if you're starting out networking from a fresh point of your career, yeah, find those fresh people too. Yeah. go together, uh, go in pairs. That's fine. Yeah. If you feel more comfortable, partnering, buddying up with someone else, uh, going and approaching someone, mm -hmm. entering a circle of people that are networked yes. together, that's fine. Uh, and I often say too, uh, if you're networking and it's just not clicking, if it's yes. just not working in that circle or that group, walk away. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Just thank them for their time. Yeah. Say, hey, I really enjoyed my conversation with you. Uh, I'm going to keep moving on and meeting more people. Mm -hmm. And just work the room, work the crowd, yes. because you're not going to connect with everyone. With everyone it's kind yeah. of like dating in a way, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like you're you're going to check them out. Ah, they don't fit for you. Okay, keep keep on moving. Next one. And then you'll, you'll, you'll find your people eventually there. Yeah. Uh, but going back to your point on LinkedIn, I often think that, uh, you know, networking, the buzzword, people think it's more physical. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be. It, yeah. it can be very much on the virtual and then online. Uh, yeah. Definitely, you can start off on LinkedIn, maybe connect with other groups, yes. uh, follow pages, make contributions to yeah. those pages. Uh, and that is a way to start networking yourself there, too. Um, I often I also like video maybe network or your videos channels so i don't know if you've seen this but i've seen this on some and i love it when it is appropriate mm -hmm. uh video uh like hire me um, yeah like pages or yes. things like that uh they're often quite creative they get people out of their shell a little bit more uh and then they can be boosted a little bit more from their online presence and then maybe people will more so connect with them yeah. uh, thereafter. Uh, and the last one, I hope people like coffee or hot yes. beverages or tea or whichever. Uh, yeah. If you connect well, maybe in those in person and online and you feel you've developed rapports and connections of people yes. that, matter to you uh don't be a stranger and asking them out for kind of a coffee to learn yeah. uh and make it about learning again yeah. don't about scream. them it's about them. yeah make it about them don't scream i need a job can you yeah. get me a job that yeah. will scare everyone away uh, yeah. and often like when you ask someone online well can you get me a job and you're kind of shouting that at them uh, the answer is quite binary. It's either yes or no is mm -hmm. what they can do. And it's often a no, because maybe they just don't have that role to your skill yeah. set that they yeah. can see right now. But if you ask the, them a different question, mm -hmm. you could get a lot more out of them. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly it. You're there to learn from them and make it more about them. Like I want to learn about the industry. I want to learn about how you grew your career because it's a career that 
is something that I could see myself on, but would love to know how you got there. Like those are meaningful questions that again, mm -hmm. show your authenticity, yeah. that yeah. show your genuineness and show your just again, passion of wanting to learn. So it all comes back to those kind of core pieces yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. I would say to clients I'm helping or the students, you know, identify when you're going to any event in person, in your mindset, tell yourself that I'm going to meet three new people. And yeah. usually ask them, what's your intent from attending this uh, conference or this event? And after that, maybe you can go to your people or the people who already go to another event. On LinkedIn, I would say again, uh, identify the companies that you want to work, maybe follow them. Yeah. Find a person that was recently been hired there and then build a relationship with them and ask them for informative interviews. They likely will help you or go for a coffee with you because they have been in your show recently and they want to help. So again, it's a two-way communication. You cannot directly tell them, hey, find me a job or hire me. It's It will take some time, but those are important. And I would say also uh, in terms of alumni, you can follow the Mon alumni and there are a lot of people there that are willing to help you. I think that's also a good networking uh, 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 platform for uh, job seekers or students here. You got it, yeah. Again, thank you for those great tips, uh, Alex. And for the audience, if you have other tips, you can leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Alex.